been six months since Arthur T. DeMoulis regained control of the supermarket chain Market Basket. All eyes were on RDT for weeks. Now an Exeter filmmaker is making a documentary about the hundreds of employees who fought to bring back their beloved CEO. It's called Food Fight, Inside the Battle for Market Basket, and it's on track to be finished by June. Chris and Carosa has more on this film and how the public is helping to complete the project. Stephanie, this filmmaker tells us Food Fight is all about the battle to save Market Basket, but also about the power of ordinary people. After setting up a public fundraiser, he now has the money he needs to get the editing going. He says telling the story is a tall task, but it's one he feels he has to tell. Little stories of how people played a role in this big story that I want to make sure come out. Filmmaker Jay Childs is taking on one of his biggest projects yet, something he's been working on for more than a year. It started out as a, a film about the DeMoulis family and the market basket business and the dichotomy between this really efficient grocery business and this family in constant turmoil. But his filming got kicked into high gear this past summer when the Market Basket board, headed by Arthur S. DeMoulis, fired his cousin Arthur T. DeMoulis as longtime CEO. He says it set off a firestorm that sparked one of the most unique corporate dramas in American history. I was going to follow this every day as much as I get as much as I could, uh, cover it as broadly as I could, because this had the potential to be a really amazing transformational story. Childs was there for 38 days of employee protests and customer boycotts, camera in hand. At first, people were very reticent to talk to me because uh, Market Basket isn't just a private company, it's a very, very private company. But as time went on, personal stories started to pour out from employees as they risked their jobs for their beloved CEO. You know, they didn't have the resources really to do this. But they felt so strongly about it that, that they did it. Childs was there for many moments along the way, even the day Arthur T. was reinstated. People were kind of tiptoeing in the store going, is it true? Is it okay? Can I shop here? And they were like, yes, there was, there was an agreement. And now that story will be told for all to see. We feel a real responsibility to tell a really good story and to make an amazing film about people. He says he'll now be hiring editors and researchers to complete the next phase of the project. If you'd like to stay up to date with the film's progress, head to our website, WMUR.com. Live in the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.